Alrighty, my friends, today we're going to read Honey, Honey, Lion for the last time, and you have a quiz, okay? So before I read, I'm going to read all the questions and the answers so that while you're listening to the story, you can listen for the answers to each question, okay? So I'm going to read all of the questions right now. Number one says, why is Honey Guide mad at Honey Badger? Badger called Honey Guide names, Badger doesn't share honey with Honey Guide, or Badger stole Honey Guide's home. Number two, why does Badger follow Honey Guide? He is scared, he is curious, or he thinks she is leading him to honey. Number three, who jumps out at Badger from the bushes? A lion, a Honey Guide, or lots of animals? Number four, what do the other animals say about Honey Guide? He is, she is silly, make sure you share with her, or she is not very smart. Number five, Badger hides in his burrow at the end of the book, yes or no? So those are the five questions I want you to be listening for while you listen to the story, okay? I'm gonna read them again at the end so you can answer them, but listen for those questions and answers in the story now. Honey, Honey Lion. In Africa, the honey guide and the honey badger are partners when it comes to honey. The little bird follows a bee to its hive and then she leads the honey badger there to break it open with its big, strong claws. Together they share the sweetness, and that is the way it has always been. Maybe this day, Badger was hungrier than usual. Maybe he forgot about Honey Guide, who showed him the way. Or could he have been thinking, my strong claws do all the hard work. Whatever the reason that day, Badger would not share. Honey Guide scolded Badger as he waddled back to the jackalberry tree his tummy almost touching the ground. She fussed and fumed, and he tried to fit into his burrow. Finally, she cried out for all the animals to hear, no fair, no fair. Soon, all the guinea hens were broadcasting the news. Honey Guide is in a major rage. But Badger didn't hear. He was sound asleep, smiling, snoring, and hiccuping from his big meal. Grumph. Badger roared out the loudest hiccup of all, and its deep, low rumble gave Honey Guide an idea. The next morning, Badger woke up hungry, his tummy flat as a pancake. That's when Honey Guide flew by, heading for the great gray boabab. Honey, 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 she cried, grinning. The little bird zigzagged over its large roots, pitter-patter. Badger ran after her, pitter-patter. Honey Guide flew low across the water, splish splash. Badger paddled after her, splish splash. Honey Guide glided to the top of a termite mound and bounced on one foot, sprong. Badger scrambled to the top and bounced off, sprong. Honey Guide landed on a hollow log. It echoes as she stomped along, boom, boom. Badger hurried to catch up, boom, boom. Next, Honey Guide flitted through the stand of papyrus. Tall, dry reeds waved back and forth, clickety-click. Badger traipsed along, muttering, where is that honey? The papyrus rattled as he went by, clickety-click. Honey Guide led him through a field of golden bristle grass. Swish, swish. Badger huffed and puffed, but thought of the delicious meal waiting for him kept him, but the thought of the delicious meal waiting for him kept him going, swish, swish. By now, Badger was tired and wet, itchy and sore, but he didn't slow down because Honey Guide was just ahead of him. She flashed her wings, fanned her tail, and dove under an acacia tree. Badger charged in after her, singing triumphantly, honey, honey, <gasps> lion. Lion, lion, lion. Badger turned on his tail and ran. 
swish, swish through the grass, clickety click into the papyrus, boom, boom over the hollow log, sprong over the termite mound, splish, splash across the water hole, pitter patter over the boavab roots. Badger dashed into his burrow. Honey guide cheered. In a flash, Badger was as far from the entrance as he could be. Right behind him was Lion's huge paw batting the air, but he could not reach him. And that's the closest any animal could be to an angry lion and live to tell the tale. That evening, Mongoose squeaked to Elephant, who trumpeted to Hippo, who bellowed to Warhog, who squealed to Bishop Bird, who piped to Hyena, who whooped to Zebra, who snorted to Giraffe, who was overheard by Guinea Hen, who buggled it far and wide. It was the Bush Telegraph, and it said, if Honey Guide leads you to a beehive, be sure and reward her, or the next time she will lead you to a lion. Okay. So now that we've listened to the story, I'm going to read these one more time so you can answer them now, okay? So make sure you have a pencil so you can listen and answer them now. Remember, if Miss Barnes goes too fast, you can always pause the video or go back to listen to it again. Number one, why is Honey Guide mad at Badger? The first answer says, Badger called Honey Guide names. The second one says, Badger doesn't share honey with Honey Guide. And the third one says, Badger stole Honey Guide's home. So bubble in whichever answer you think is the correct answer. And then we're gonna move on to number two. Why does Badger follow Honey Guide? The first one is he is scared, he is curious, or he thinks she is leading him to honey. Bubble in which answer you think is correct. If you're not ready, remember to pause it. We're gonna move on to number three. If you're not ready, pause the video. Number three says, who jumps out at Badger from the bushes? Is it a lion, honey guide, or lots of animals? Which one? jumps out from the bushes at Badger. Bubble in your answer now. Number four, what do the other animals say about Honey Guide? Do they say that she is silly? Or make sure you share with her? Or she is not very smart? Bubble in which one you think the other animals say about Honey Guide. That's the bird, remember. Number five, Badger hides in his burrow at the end of the book. Yes or no? So think in your head, at the end of the story, does Badger hide in his burrow, yes or no? Bubble in your answer. Remember my friends, if you missed one along the way, rewind and listen again so you can figure out what I'm saying and what the answer is, okay? Make sure you've bubbled in all your answers. Okay, 